I crashed a plane. You heard me right. When I was in the Navy, I crashed a plane doing something I shouldn't have been doing. Great story, I think. Uh, I call them wake-up calls. Uh, I was actually a naval aviator. I was in Yuma, Arizona, Marine Corps Air Station, Yuma, and we were doing bombing practice. And uh, it was a Saturday afternoon. I think we were finished with all our flights, and one of the um, pilots, I believe he's one of the flight instructors actually for bombing, had a girlfriend or somebody wanted to press, I don't remember the details, in, on a ranch outside of Yuma. We knew where the ranch was, so I was the only one qualified to fly a Cessna flight plane. So what we did is uh, four of us got in the plane and uh, figured there'd be a pasture or some kind of a road I could land on. I've done it before. Found the uh, ranch and the road looked a little bit short for a runway. Uh, I didn't know it was gravel. However, anyway, I, I landed on the very short end of the runway uh, road and it was gravel. The, there was a crosswind and the plane weathercocked a little bit and I also knew I could not get traction to stop the plane in time before I ran out of runway. And I still, you know, at pretty good speed, probably about 50 knots. So I went to full power. I put 10 degrees flaps back on the plane and I ran out of a gravel road. In front of me there was power lines. I knew that if I could just keep the plane slightly off the ground, I could use what's called ground effect. That's a cushion when you're very low between the ground and the wings and you can usually build up airspeed. So I got to the ground effect. I was able, of course, to go under the power lines. I had no choice. But after I got into the power lines, there were trees ahead. Kept the neck ground effect, hovering around probably 60, 65. Flying speed's really more like 70, 75, and that's minimum. What happened was I tried to milk it up, get over the trees. The plane stalled, rolled over on its back. We all walked away without a scratch. How lucky. Now, this was back in the late 1960s. Things were different then. And I don't know what the Navy did, but they covered it all up and we continued our flying and went along our merry way and continued our bombing practice the next day. These are life-changing events, wake-up calls. After that, I realized there was only one place to land, or two places. That was in an airport or on an aircraft carrier. Ed Goldfarb, Cell State Partners Realty, 954-605-8427, 954-605-8427. Stay tuned tomorrow, and I'll tell you about how I almost lost my wings, pulling something very similar to Maverick in Top Gun. Ed Goldfarb, thanks for listening.